a hard loss. A tragedy in Stanislaus County. A family reeling tonight after a house fire in Denaire killed a man and two children. CBS 13's Ryan Hill is in Denaire with how family is remembering them tonight. There seems to be some type of candlelight memorial for those who lost their lives in this house fire. This close family says that they're asking for everyone's prayers tonight as they remember these young boys and the soon to be family member as those who loved life and enjoyed being with family. It's also a time where they are coming together to support one another. The sounds of raw emotion as fire crews worked frantically to save people stuck inside a burning home. A neighbor's cell phone capturing a family's worst nightmare. Maria Ubaye tells me her niece lives here with her fiance and two children. I understand that um, she um, saw the smoke and flames and just thought she'd come check it out, and it turned out to be her home. At around 1:45 this morning, the Stanislaus County Sheriff's Office says first responders arrived at the home, fully engulfed in flames, being told people were trapped inside. But after the fire was knocked down. The sheriff's office says three people were later found by investigators. Ubaya tells me it was Megan's two sons, eight year old Mason and three year old Bennett, and her fiance, Sergio. They loved life and they loved to smile and they loved to be around family. We were getting ready to celebrate that this, this weekend, and unfortunately, we have to celebrate them being with God and not with us. A torched house. Now all that's left of a tragic loss. The family is saying they're staying strong, banding together to remember their loved ones and do everything they can to support each other. That though they may have died in a fire, that's not what we want them to be remembered as. And though you might, you know, be going through some tough things, the people around you are going to carry you through. And Megan, we love you. We're going to carry you through this. Ubaye tells me that Sergio was a quiet and hard working man. The Stanislaus County Sheriff's Office says that the cause of the fire is still being investigated, but arson or any type of criminal wrongdoing does not appear to be suspected at this time.